everyone. Panda back with you. You know what? I was going to get Valheim a while back, but I've been caught up with New World. Finally, a little bit burned out New World. I've got like over 200,000 gold in New World right now. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try Valheim. I was hesitant because I'm not really too much into these types of games, but I'm liking it so far. I mean, granted, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing, but this is actually my first 24 hours real life time into the game not non-stop kind of just show you the map give you an idea i mean you can see yeah i've got quite a few deaths here and there and i've read i've watched some videos on the game i tell you what they're very helpful so one thing i do suggest anywhere you go that you make a camp and that camp requires your workbench a bed and a fire pit that way you can respawn in that area but you have to make sure you click on the bed to make that your respawn point but I mark these on the map so I know where my little camps are at and all you got to do when you do that like this is where I'm at this is my most recent one right here that I'm working on double click on the map and just uh, type in the name there that's what I do. It helps me out. But anyways, when you come and you make an area, you got to make a workbench. You have to cover the workbench. The game, uh, the, the menu will tell you if it's not covered enough, so you don't really have to do a lot of guesswork. This is the little house that I was working on. I've got my bed in here, and this is what I'm talking about. You want to make sure you click on your bed to set that for your respawn point. My fire has... Oh, there we go burned out I don't know what happens with this cooking stuff does it like uh, tell you when it's done I don't know <clears throat> I designed my own little chimney because you will die from uh, smoke inhalation and you can also catch on fire hope I don't die yeah see so be very careful I I've had some really weird deaths here and there pay attention to your surroundings but the games, uh, it's really fun. Um, building is a little bit tricky. You know, part of it's the user interface, at least for me. You know, but yet I know they're going to be doing other upgrades to the game. I mean, the game seems to have a pretty interesting roadmap for the future. And definitely, when you're out in the wilds, man, pay attention where you are at. I mean, so far, I've only explored, uh, what, the meadows... I barely touch base into the Black Forest. And I know I heard some suggestions that when you're first starting out, stick around in the meadows and the Black Forest at first. I did go out cutting trees down and I came across a troll. I did not engage it. I saw it off in the distance, so it makes me kind of nervous. You know, can that troll come down and like totally annihilate all the time I put into building my stuff here? I don't know <laughs> it's it's a fun game though and it is co-op you can play with other people you know my uh, younger son actually kind of got me uh, partially is what got me interested in the game so you can basically make like your own server and whoever you're playing with give them the name of your server the password to your server and they can come and join you for a play session so yeah it's a pretty interesting game torch away I don't want to attract that big troll God only knows right but yeah I'm just kind of working on understanding the uh, upgrade system and everything else it's not too hard to understand everything's fairly self-explanatory go out there's a lot of grinding involved in the game but you know what it's it's kind of a fun grind actually you actually get a sense of progression because you are really working your butt off for everything you get I feel cold I better go back inside here but yeah yeah that's kind of just my uh, little tidbits though and some suggestions as a new player completely uh, unknowledgeable about what the rest of my game experience will be but yes when you go from area to area make sure you set up little camps you're gonna need your workbench a fire your bed your workbench has to be covered your bed has to be covered 
for you to use it and set that as a uh, respawn point because you will die. It's not if you die, you will die in the game, guys. But yeah, I'll be back with some other uh, videos on the game as I figure more out and kind of advance. I still have to uh, make some pants, which requires me to get some more leather. I need to get a bow first so I can start killing more deer. But yeah, pretty fun. You guys have any uh, suggestions or comments? You know, please leave them in the comments. You know, I would greatly appreciate that. Especially when it comes to uh, the user interface. I've noticed like when I'm having to deconstruct something, when I totally F up a build, it like gets kind of glitchy or something. So I don't know if that's just something I'm doing wrong or something with the game right now. But yeah, please let me know. I know there's a lot of people that have way more experience in the game, but yeah happy to be in the game I, I it's it's pretty cool guys so i'll see you on the next video keep safe